Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Guys, today we made two new roster moves for the Prasser squad. So our first one was we went ahead and signed Zach Gentry. Now, who is Zach Gentry? Well, Zach Gentry is a former Pittsburgh Steelers player. He's actually a player that this offseason there was rumors of them trading him, you know, potentially moving on in some way. Well, they ended up cutting him. And now he is on our Prasser squad. So he's a former fifth round pick. He's obviously, yes, a tight end, which is awesome. Get another tight end on the, on the Prasser squad. Eventually may move up to 53 man roster. This is our second tight end on the Prasser squad, him and Tanner Hudson. So this means, again, you know, working on the depth at the tight end position. Um, but he did, again, play for four seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And. The last two seasons, he really got actual play time. The first two seasons, he really didn't do anything. The last two seasons, he actually did. He played 17 games in 2021. Saw 12 of them, had 25 targets, 19 receptions, 167 yards, and no touchdowns. And overall-wise, I mean, he's nothing special, okay? That's pretty much what I could say about him is he's a pretty okay tight end. And again... He didn't make the, their roster because they did uh, draft Donnell Washington. They also have Pat Fryermuth and they have Connor Haywood. So they didn't want to go ahead and keep him, which makes perfect sense. Because again, like I said, you know, this guy, well, yes, he was a fifth round draft pick at one time in the NFL. Not every single draft pick does work out. But again, not every single player, you know, thrives in every single system, right? He's now coming over to Cincinnati where he's going to be playing with the best quarterback, uh, pretty much the best quarterback of all time. Now, of course, in, you know, Pittsburgh, he had Kenny Pickett, which nothing wrong with Kenny Pickett, but Kenny Pickett's young. He's in his sophomore season. You know, before that, he did have Ben Roethlisberger, but when he had Ben, he wasn't actually playing. So again, like I said, it's one of those situations where it's like, now he actually has a true quarterback. Maybe that changes up a little bit, and maybe he can actually get some play time this year. But we'll have to wait and see. Because, again, right now a tight end group outside of Irv Smith is <laughs> like that. Like that, right? It's like, okay, Drew Sample, if he could stay healthy, then you could go, well, what about Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Wilcox? If he could stay healthy. Okay, so then obviously we got Tanner Hudson and we got Zach Gentry. So it's, it's a little bit ups and downs, peaks and valleys. We're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're truly getting this all figured out. So as it says right here, Gentry is a uh, fifth uh, fifth year player out of the University of Michigan. Originally was a fifth round pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2019. He played 40 regular season games, 26 starts for the Steelers, catching 39 passes for 303 yards. And now the second guy we picked up was actually defensive end. Garrett Nelson. So we're working on our defensive line, which I love to see. And he's actually not even on uh, this thing. So because he's a rookie. Okay, that's that would be why. So he is a rookie out of University, University of Nebraska. Was a college free agent signing of Miami this year. He spent the offseason in training camp with Miami and recorded five tackles with one sack in three preseason games. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead and look him up real fast. I thought he would be on the... Pro I knew he was a rookie, but I thought he would be on the pro football reference. Because usually, as long as you, you know, play anything in the NFL, even preseason, usually you get on that. Um, but here is who he is. So, he's an edge rusher. Okay. Isn't really any stats. What do you think, college? Oh, there isn't really any stats, actually. Surprisingly enough. Um... Let's go back. Let me look up his stats. Let's see if I can find his stats. Cause he, come on, man. How, how good did this man do in college? I need to know college stats, what we're looking at. Okay, here we go. We got some actual college stats here. Okay, so let me move this over a little bit. He played in college here a total. Okay, so it looks like he was a backup starting off. Six games uh, he played his first freshman year. So he played a total of five years in college, which makes sense because of the whole COVID year. Uh, six of uh, six games in college, he recorded zero sacks his freshman year. His second year, he recorded one and a half sacks. Also played eight games. And his last two years, I guess last two years, yeah, 
kind of weird how it says 2023. I guess that, technically he only played four years because he didn't play 2023. Because that technically would have been this year. Um, he played 12 games, 12 games, and then he recorded uh, 10 and a half sacks in those last two years. Okay, so again, like I said, he's one of those guys where it's like, okay, this guy's nothing really special. But at the same time, you know, hey, listen, potential, right? Potential is always key. And if we go back to our roster moves here, uh, we released Ky uh, Tyler Murray from the practice squad. Now, obviously, we always had one spot available after, you know, picking up Jerome Felton. So it makes sense that, you know, with one roster spot left, we went ahead and picked up a rookie, see what we can get with him. And then we went ahead and cut Tyler Murray, which, to be honest, Tyler Murray... He did look okay in the preseason. Nothing too crazy special, though. So I'm not really too upset about us losing a linebacker here. And it's in turn, we literally get a pretty solid-looking tight end and a you know guy who's a rookie who you never know what's going to happen. But that is now currently sitting us at exactly 16 players on the practice squad. So we are now completely filled in the practice squad, guys. So we have our practice squad going into this year. And again, like I said before, this is freaking exciting as all heck because I can't wait to see what ends up happening. I really can't. I can't wait to see how the season goes. I know it's going to be a long season. Listen, football is always a long season. Just a little update, guys, for our press squad uh, in case you are new. This is what our press squad is looking like. And now keep in mind, we also do have now, again, two new pieces, Zach Gentry. And then the rookie out of Nebraska there. So, again, Jackson Kirkland, Sidney Jones, Stanley Morgan, Dom Davis, Nate Gilliam, Mike Thomas, Cedric Jackson, Alan George, Will Greer, no longer Tyler Murray, um, Jeff Gunner, Kwame, uh, and then we have Tanner Hudson and Shaka Haywood. So, now again, two tight ends on the practice squad. We also have another edge rusher on the practice squad. So, we lost one linebacker, but we got another guy there. Also, the only guy not in this picture here is Jerome Felton Jr. So, Jerome, Fel Jerome Felton Jr. is also on the press squad. So, very exciting. Again, keep in mind, these guys most likely will never sniff the field. But we can activate uh, any player on this list here up to three times per year. So, three times any of these guys on the press squad can hit the active roster if we need to with because of injury or problems or anything and actually utilize them on our team. So it's kind of nice for that said reason. And again, like I said, you know, that's why you have press squad because these guys are pretty much, again, just as important as the active roster. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, that's a press squad guy. Yeah, but that's also your like depth at that single position, right? So again, I'll say any injuries happen, Sidney Jones is going to be the first guy they call to bring up to the active roster. Yeah, it's possible they go in free agency, look in free agency, but usually, you know, you go for your press squad first. You kind of see what you got in the press squad, what you like, what you don't like, and then you go get them. Unless there's like crazy free agent on free agency, right? But most of the time, you just go for the press squad. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.